Hello guys, welcome to the course of Geek Fiji 4 Plugin Development. This is our very first video. So before taking this course, we have to understand that what we are going to cover inside this whole course. If I back to slide, so inside this course, we are going to learn all the basics concept of Geek PHP 4 plugin. We'll start from Geek PHP 4 installation, we'll fix some installation error and then we'll start all about the basics concept of plugin development. Inside this basics concept, we will cover what is a Geek PHP 4 plugin, why we need and what are its features. After getting our basics concept, then we'll able to write our first program inside Geek PHP 4 plugin. Inside basics concept of plugin, we will cover the concept of migration, see the even we'll use the concept of faker library and also we'll use some big console command to work with our plugin. So together the combination of migration, see the model and entity and controller, we will see the features of database. So while operating with the database, we'll see all the database operations like insert, update, delete and select statements. Also, in the basics concept of plugin development, we will see all about routes configuration. We will understand how to actually put our public accessible files and how to use CSS, JavaScript and images inside our plugin. And finally, by the help of these basics concept, we will create a CRUD application using and inside our KakePHP 4 application. And finally, inside this CRUD application setup, we'll use an AJAX request. So these are the things we'll cover inside this whole course. So step by step inside this course, we are going to learn many more things inside plugin development. And after learning all these things from here, I am surely say that you are going to create yourself as a stand alone application developer or a plugin developer inside KakePHP. So if we go and see the final product of this CRUD application, what will create using KakePHP 4 plugin, so back to browser, this will be the final product what will create using a KakePHP 4 plugin. And this is a plugin, inside this plugin we have all the functions of create, read, update and delete. So this is the product. After covering the basics concept, we will create that. So here, this is the first page which is for listing all the employees. Let's add few employees, click on add employee, here we have add employee form. Let's add or employee. Gender equals to male. And let's put some dummy mobile number. Click on submit. And as you can see, employee has been saved successfully. Back to list employee, here we have the first employee what we have created, click on add date, let's say I want to update some information. Putting some updated values, click on submit, employee information successfully updated, go here. Now if you want to delete this employee from this table, click on delete button, it is asking for confirmation, click on ok. An employee has been deleted. So this is the final overall application. It is a CRUD application we will create using KakePHP 4 plugin. So inside this course, we will cover all the basics concepts to create a plugin with the advanced concept of creating a CRUD based setup. So I hope we will meet in the next session with a great smile. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.